Google added a new feature directly in Google Slides that allows you to record presentations. You do no longer need to install any third-party apps or local software or Chrome extensions. So here is how it works. In the top right corner, you will see this record button. But this is the first case that you will only see this record button if you are using a Google G Suite uh, account. So if you are um, a Google Workspace account, this is not available on at least of now for free Google accounts. So you, you click the record button. You can see my previous recordings. We name them, remove them or copy a link. Or you can click record new video, which is what I'm doing right now. So here are the options. You can see my preview image uh, of the speaker video. I can position it differently and I can change the size. And uh, I will keep it at the bottom right corner. And I can take a preview of the presentation. I could also open speaker notes, which is a nice feature. I can disable camera. I can disable audio if I would like to. Uh, and uh, I can change sources, of course. So if you have multiple cameras attached or microphones, you can change um, that here. And once you are done configuring, you can hit the red record button. You have to give permission to allow it uh, to allow recording of the tab. You have this countdown. Now I'm recording the presentation. And um, yeah, once you're done, you click again the red record button. You can re record or save to drive. This takes a little. Uploading to drive. I'm leaving the record environment. And now you can see here it's processing the recording. It takes a little. Um, I will show you a different one. So I copy the link and uh, paste it here in a new tab. You can see it's a WebM file that is created. It's stored on um, Google Drive and I can use the typical sharing component to share it with anyone on the web if I want to. And it's immediately playable. Um, and you can start um, without any uh, need to install any player software, of course, or anything. So this is a nice little feature. Um, of course, there are no editing components, so you could uh, install third-party add-ons that allow you to um, record WebM on the web. But that's it, and I hope you have fun trying out this new feature.